Uh, that's a gen, yeah. <laughs> Just interviewing a few people outside uh, 77 Holborn. This is uh, where Elbit Systems are that supply drones to Israel. So I'm just joined with a few people. So I just wanted to get your opinions about the current coverage that you guys are hearing about Palestine. From your exposure, what have you guys understood about what's going on in, in Palestine? Well, my first been UV, I didn't actually see anything quite on the news. I found it out through Twitter. Okay. Um, yeah, social media was definitely the first awareness that both of us discovered. I mean, it's disgusting that it's not being advertised, not yeah. advertised, but aired on the socials like BBC, that it's not like a big news article because they care about like what the next like, social media influence is wearing, but not what's actually going on in today's society, for example, Palestine. Okay, that's, that's very interesting, but from what you guys have seen, what sort of things have you seen and how has it made you feel? I saw um, a photo on Twitter, I think it was two days ago, of a baby boy and he had like, not bullet shots, but it was like the plastic bullets and it, yeah, it was, it's really upsetting and I don't understand why no one is like, no big influences that I follow have had a say on it. Right. And there should be more awareness on such a topic that's disrupting so many victims. People are using their platforms for the wrong reasons. You know Gigi Hadid and Bella Hadid? Yeah. yeah. I think Bella Hadid's been very vocal about Yeah, this. she has. Yeah, I've seen that she has been. And I think it's so, for like a young girl, it's very admiring that someone with such a big platform is using that for good cause because the majority of them don't use that at all. Yeah. So what's very interesting is, you know, um, Israel, they've got their own Twitter page as well. So they posted that Bella Hadid is being anti-Semitic because she's speaking up. Did you hear that? Oh, I haven't heard that. I did see that. I do think that it, as a social media, it must be so hard to advocate your own views when you're not actually sure on the issue yourself. That's how I feel. I don't know how to talk about such an issue because you don't want to say the wrong thing. You don't want to say, you don't want to say something that's going to insult somebody else. But I do feel like raising awareness upon such a destructive issue is just important in itself rather than being afraid of saying the wrong thing or something that's going to insult somebody else, you should just be advocating something that's wrong. It yeah. should be so much more black and white than it already is. It's like, right and what's wrong. Yeah, I feel like people are too scared to say the wrong thing, so they don't say anything at all because it gets pulled up a lot when people say, but you don't know because you come from such a privileged background and you, you're not in that environment yourself. I think people just instantly shut down about it. Like and they don't, that's, they don't want to say the wrong thing, but to be honest, anyone that's an advocate for such a for such a treacherous issue, you can't advocate the wrong thing because if you're raising awareness for something that's wrong, how can that go either way? You can't. Because yeah. I think you know when when children are being killed, when buildings are being destroyed, like you're saying about you know fifty thousand buildings, uh, fifty thousand Palestinians have been displaced. Half a thousand buildings have been damaged, 132 um, have been totally decimated, stuff like that. It doesn't really how can you take how can you take the wrong the wrong yeah, yeah exactly and that's like, why it's wrong. But I'm obviously exactly. like exactly. we have like as you said like Bella and Gigi, they obviously have a big influence on it, but it's a smaller influence. So like you know like your love island stuff, like, they get they get a lot of abuse just from posting like an album. So I feel like they think, well, if I post a political issue, they're going to get an even bigger backlash. I feel like that makes them hesitant about but, but it. But have you noticed that if every other celebrity, they've got an issue? Yeah. Be it animal rights, be it, you know, And they're being the paid. Right? They exactly, are. exactly. Behind the scenes, I know. I feel like we live in a very, you know, like a society where it's like, oh, if you're saying it, then it means it's true. And really, it's not. It's behind the scenes, you don't actually know what's happening. Like, they... They have small businesses like promoting them, but I just think at the end of the day, like the bigger issues need to be addressed. To look they do need more. to be addressed. I think that like something as black and white as this needs to be spoken more about, rather than being. If I was an influencer, what I would be hesitant about speaking about something that is wrong. I think about it. You know when terrorist attacks happen or yeah. another violence like this. People don't run to influencers. No, no, you see, because no. they don't see them as. Political voice, and they don't so, see them as 
I think that's that a similar kind of case is being drawn here that because kids are dying, because mothers and buildings are being affected, like houses are being decimated. It shouldn't be a political thing. It's a thing for everyone. Everyone that's walking down the street, as you've just like spoken like, about it's now. If it happened to me, like it's out of our control. It's out of their control. What are they supposed to do? They can't voice it. All they can prey on is that the media. It to and they haven't. Yeah, and they haven't. Because I haven't seen it. I'm no. just going to ask you a few generic questions. Yeah. Give me your wildest guesses, yeah? <laughs> yeah? So, Britain, we're in Britain at the moment, yeah? So, Britain supplies as the fourth largest arms dealer to, to Israel. Yeah. In fact, we're, we're standing in front of a building now on the sixth floor. Um, in, in a few years ago, I think 85% of the, uh, the drone weapons were going. From, from this building. Like, you look at it, what, what does it, yes. what does yeah, it look I, like? I never even knew that until you said it. Imagine. And, and that makes you embarrassed to be a UK citizen. That makes you embarrassed to think that I live here and understand that I'm probably providing money and wealth to that. And that I think that is something that needs to be voiced because we didn't, we didn't know that. Like, that, that should be the thing that's on Twitter. That should be the thing that's being promoted. Not, of course, the travesty that's happening, but at the same time, it needs to be voiced how it's happening, like the background information, because I know if everyone knew that, there'll be less income going into that building right now, and that's, that would stop, not stop, but like a halt to what's happening. It's interesting you say that, because every year the US Senate votes on how much aid they give to Israel. So it's four billion, yeah, every year. It's crazy money. It goes, now how much, how much percentage do you think goes, uh, of the arms goes from Israel? Uh, sorry, from the US to Israel. Just think a while. My first. naive self would say like 20. 20? But my knowledgeable self would say about majority of it. Majority. But how, what's the percentage? About 70, 80. <laughs> oh, what about yourself? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I feel like it would just be a very small amount, so I'm going to say 35. But you know, because I'm asking you, it must be a big amount. Yeah, it's got to be a big amount. Yeah, it's actually. Because that wouldn't be happening. That would be happening. Exactly. It's actually 70%. Yeah, it's disgusting. 70%. And every year it gets If you bolted. look at them pictures on the screen, it's disgusting. If that was happening in the UK, there'll be a huge... I mean, it kind of reflects what's yeah. going on in the US as well, with like Black Lives Matter. Exactly. It, it reflects it completely. And it's just in a, it's in a different continent, pretty much, is what's happening on a, on a more And because it's in an LEC, it's, not, it's, it's disregarded all the time because it doesn't concern the UK regarding trade, regarding the stuff that brings the money into the economy, but it's still the world and it's still the people. And that's what we all should look out for, is the people. But we're all each other's neighbours. I think for, for people that were nervous, I think you guys have done brilliantly. <laughs> you guys are very well known and uh, wish you guys all the best. And really and